It's always a whirlwind of excitement when I'm preparing for one of our unique outings. Today was no exception. I had just finished up at the salon, feeling the silky strands of my freshly styled hair, the light catching highlights making me smile with satisfaction. Are you ready, Jeremy? My friend called out, her voice filled with that usual spark of mischief and delight. She was the reason I was standing here, dressed in my soft pink jacket over a snug white top that contrasted sharply against the brisk spring day. We were in the parking lot of an amusement park, the Ferris wheel towering in the background, its carriages slowly circling with laughing and screaming passengers. I looked down at my hands, admiring the French manicure I'd opted for. It was flawless, every tip perfectly shaped and polished. I couldn't help but feel proud, the rings on my fingers catching the fading light. I can't wait to show off this look, I thought, my makeup meticulously done to enhance my features. Contour and highlight perfectly balanced, eyelashes volumized to just the right degree, it was a glamorous transformation. As we walked toward the entrance, I noticed several heads turning. Some looks were of admiration, some of curiosity, but all noticed. It was empowering. For so long, I had hidden this part of myself, the part that reveled in the expressive, the traditionally feminine, the boldly different. Jeremy, you look absolutely stunning, she whispered as we queued for tickets, and my heart swelled. This was more than just dress up, it was a declaration of my freedom to explore, to be visible in my vulnerability and strength. It didn't matter that society might label me a sissy or anything else. Today, I was not just Jeremy, I was a masterpiece of my own making, proud and unapologetic. As the day faded into a starlit evening, every ride and every smile felt like a celebration. A celebration of identity, of friendship, of the courage to be oneself. The Ferris wheel ride overlooking the city was the highlight, the world stretching out beneath us, vast and accepting. I'm glad we did this, I murmured, looking out over the lights. So am I, she replied, squeezing my hand. So am I. As the Ferris wheel gradually descended, bringing us back to the bustling sounds of the amusement park below, the thrill of the evening still lingered. There was a joyous sense of adventure in the air, made richer by the ongoing journey of self-expression and discovery. Let's grab something to eat. I bet you'll turn a few more heads, she teased with a wink as we exited the ride. The scent of popcorn and cotton candy mixed with the crisp evening air as we walked toward the food stands, my heels clicking rhythmically on the pavement. Every step felt like a declaration, each movement a part of the dance of my ongoing transformation. At the food stand, while waiting for our order, a group nearby glanced over, their eyes lingering just a touch longer than usual. I adjusted the pink jacket slightly, feeling its fabric smooth under my fingers, and met their gaze with a confident smile. The acknowledgement was subtle but significant, a nod to my boldness. We found a secluded table, the colorful lights of the park casting playful shadows around us. As we sat, she handed me a compact mirror. Check your lipstick, you might want to touch it up, she advised with a knowing smile. I opened the mirror, the reflection greeting me now familiar yet always thrilling. The lipstick, a subtle rose pink, had faded slightly. Carefully, I traced the contours of my lips, the creamy texture sliding on smoothly, refreshing the color that complemented my manicured nails. Perfect, I affirmed, snapping the mirror shut. The simple act of applying lipstick felt transformative, reinforcing the persona I embraced more fully with each outing. She watched me with a mixture of pride and affection. You know, every time we do this, you seem more, you, more relaxed, more joyful. It's like watching someone come alive. Her words warmed me, echoing the internal change that I felt was as visible as my external transformation. It feels right, I responded, the sound of music and laughter from the park blending with our conversation. Like I'm finally aligning the outside with what's been inside all along. As we continued our evening, exploring more of the park, trying games, and laughing through rides, the night was a vibrant tapestry of experiences. Each moment built on the last, crafting a narrative of boldness, beauty, and a deeper self-acceptance. When it was time to leave, the park's lights dimming and the crowds thinning, we walked back to the car, a gentle silence between us filled with mutual understanding and respect. Thank you, for all of this, I said as we reached the car, the night now deep around us. Anytime, she replied, this is just the beginning, right? Definitely just the beginning, I agreed, feeling the truth of my words resonate deeply. Tonight was another step in my journey, one of many more to come, each promising the joy of discovery and the peace of being my truest self.